Hey, it's me, Cooper the Cow Cooped Up Cowboy. See, it's me, Cooper the Cooped Up. Cooper the Cooped Up. Just a minute. Huh, that's better. It's me, Cooper the Cooped Up Cowboy. It's still not good, is it? Okay, just a minute. Just a minute, just a minute. <sighs> now, that is better. It's me. Hi, Cooper the Cooped Up Cowboy. You know what? I tried to go out. I didn't think I was cooped up anymore. And I tried to go out and do other things, and see other people, and I found out I'm still cooped up. There's still a lot of reasons to be cooped up. And I have to wear this mask, and I have to wash my hands, and I have to stay six feet away from each other. One, two, three, four, five, six. How's that? Are you cooped up too? Are you tired of being cooped up too? Don't you wish you could hug your friends? Look, group hug. Look, air high five. Yeah, do another one. Ugh. It's so hard to breathe with a mask. It's so hard to have fun without being able to get up close to our friends. I'm tired of being cooped up. How about you? <sighs> I know. But good news. Jesus loves us. God wasn't surprised that we had to be cooped up. And our big God is so amazing that he can sneak his way into the smallest places. So even if you're cooped up in a small apartment or a small house or a small room like I am, you don't have to worry because Jesus is with you. And you know what I was reading in the Bible, in the book of Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2? Listen to this. Brothers and sisters, because of the mercies of God, I urge you to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true worship. Do not be conformed to this age, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may figure out what is the good perfect, and pleasing will of God. Do you know what? We don't have to be afraid. A lot of people in this age are afraid. We don't have to be afraid. We don't have to be bitter. That means grumpy and angry inside all the time. We don't have to be bitter. We don't have to be angry or afraid or bitter. We can trust God. Now, we do have to be respectful. So I think it's a good idea if you wear your mask. And I think it's an extra good idea if you wash your hands. And I think you should stay at least six feet away from people. We need to be respectful and pray for people and bless people. But we don't have to be afraid. And we don't have to be grumpy just because we're cooped up. This Bible verse says, we can be transformed. We can be changed by renewing our minds. And we can do that by putting our eyes on the God of mercy. And when we put our eyes on the God of mercy, he, it changes us. And so we can be cheerful and we can show other people mercy with cheerfulness. Look at my big smile. Can you do a big smile like that? Okay. Guess what? Even if you have to wear a mask, you can put on a big smile behind it, and I'll be able to tell by looking at your eyes. So, how about it? You and me, we can be living sacrifices. We can give up what we want, going out and bear hugs, 
and instead we can surrender ourselves to help, serve, bless, and and encourage other people. Yeah? All right, let's finish with an air high five. I'll see you soon. Bye.